What up guys? Jonathan again. Well, not again. We're at uh, day five. Day five is fun. Uh, what do we got? Today we have legs and back. Legs and back? Yeah. That's a fun workout. That's a tough workout too. I mean, you're repetitively hitting your legs. So, um, I'll talk to you guys real quick while I make my pre-workout. Uh, I'm taking Jack today. Uh, cause this workout, I'll definitely need it. Sorry for the shitty lighting. It's afternoon. I'm trying, trying to just try some new things out. I've been working on in the mornings, and that's quite all right. But um, I don't know. I kind of prefer the afternoons, to be honest with you. So hold on for one second. We'll be back. I'm gonna mix this all up, and we'll be back. What up, guys? All right. Um, done with the workout. Back and back. A little shaky. Um, doing good though. Um, felt great today. Uh, one thing I was noticing was that even with the 20 pound vest and some dumbbells and some of these exercises, especially on the on the lunges, I felt great. Um, usually, you know, the last couple of weeks I felt like I was hitting a brick wall. I just couldn't move, couldn't go anywhere, couldn't do anything. And uh, today is doing great. Soaked, full sweat. Um, this is one of the workouts that kind of kicked my butt in the end. My glutes and, and quads are kind of shaky if I flex them. Awesome workout today though. I don't know if it's if it's because of the um, <clears throat> the new creatine, which I mentioned I talked to you guys about, or show you at least. And I, I don't want to give it credit just yet because I've been taking it for two days, and I quite I don't feel like that's ad <clears throat> excuse me adequate enough time to to give you a review of a supplement. But um, this is what it is. It's um let me see. Creature by Beast. It's actually a um, German grade creatine, Crea Pure. Um, good stuff. This is about three capsules. Actually, it's, it's two, two, three capsule servings a day. And so, you know, it says pre and post workout. I'm actually doing some, um, if I work out in the mornings, post workout, and then some in the afternoon. And if, like today, where I'm doing an afternoon workout, I'll do two in the, or three in the morning and then two post workout, like right now. Um, one thing, that uh, I was doing lately, I right, tried today, let's go back to the workout room, is that, <clears throat> you know, during the workouts, I kind of get the tips and I kind of get ideas of, of what to tell you guys and, and what to kind of work on. And, um, but I forget them by the time that we, uh, <laughs> we get back to the camera. And without having to give you guys, you know, a full, video of me working out um, I thought it'd be easier to just kind of do these clips and then save you guys time and I kind of still apologize for the 30 minute video and the 20 minute video and the 17 minute video I'm trying to cut these down so I can just give you your tips and just kind of tell you guys how I feel throughout the day um, this is an awesome workout because you in the end of the day um, if you really flex your muscles you really go deep on some of those you know squat exercises you're going to get some awesome, awesome, awesome soreness the next day. I always do. A um, couple things that I've been doing that I did today, I'm going to try to do this more often. As some of you guys know, I don't know if I've given you the tour of, there, of this, but this is the workout room. And so, I have uh, some mirrors. I dropped the laptop for some, uh, some, some tunes, which I highly recommend. Sometimes it just gives you energy to push. Uh, the punching bag, which I might be getting rid of here soon. And, uh, you know, the whole setup with the dumbbells and some more mirrors. Um, highly recommend the mirrors. It helps you kind of check your own technique. And, it, and it, when you have proper technique, you'll notice that you'll get stronger faster. And you'll get results because your proper technique is key. Um, but anyways, I brought one of these erasable markers in here. Shaking. Um, <laughs> and I'm kind of writing things down as I kind of get it. One thing I wrote was, was mindset. You know, mindset is everything. Your mindset going into the workouts is just as important as your intensity in the workouts because your mindset, your mental toughness is what's gonna get you those extra reps. And that's really what it comes down to. Getting those extra reps, pushing yourself and, and really just tearing the muscle. And that sounds worse than it is, but that's what you're looking for. Um, one thing I wrote was flex ass, and I should correct that. There you go, proper English, flex that ass. 
Um, when you're going down on, on some of these squat techniques like the zebra squats or you know any of these, um, make sure you get really deep in that squat, really deep so you feel that, that pull in your, in your glutes, in your ass, and make sure you get that pull, get that stretch, and then when you go back up, boom, pop back up and flex your butt. Those will help you get amazing results. And I know a lot of girls that are kind of looking to get you know, the ass and the thicker legs and all that good stuff. Excuse the language. I know it's a little bit different than the last videos. I think it's just because in the afternoon I'm a little bit more energized. But um, anyways, yeah, make sure that you kind of flexing. When you flex that muscle, flex it. And when you go down, really, really stretch the muscle. But uh, kind of the tips I have for you guys today. I mean, awesome workout. This one usually is. I mean, even though I'm adding weight to it, it's always an awesome workout. You're always going to get really, really, really ripped as long as you go deep on the squats and pop up and really, really flex your glutes. Um, because most of these lower body exercises are going to be hitting your hamstrings and hitting your glutes. And, and you're really going to get a good stretch and a really good burn. So, um, oh, one more tip. On the, um, what am I talking about? What am I thinking of? Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, here we go. The sneaky lunges. Um, when you're, you know, that, that round is about a minute and a half, give or take. During that, make sure that you're breathing um, very quickly in that minute and a half because you're doing constant work and you have constant stress on your muscles. You can get lightheaded and, and want to pass out. If that's kind of where you're at, um, take a second, pause the video, don't pass out. But I mean, make sure you're taking, you know, good deep breaths. Um, but I mean, besides that, guys, I mean, that's all the kind of quick tips I have for you guys. So hope you guys are feeling good. Tomorrow I should have a good video, kind of mixing it up. I'm going to mix up the workouts, kind of remove the tempo, um, do another resistance workout. And um, tomorrow I might be doing some cooking. So, you know, check it out. So either way, Friday, day five, uh, we're done. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, feel free to post some comments or likes or dislikes or whatever. I just kind of want to know what you guys need help with or what you guys are liking or not liking. Um, once again, if you guys need anything, um, Jonathan out, day five. Have a good one, guys.